So you might have heard that FIFA 23 will be the last ever FIFA. Later this year, it's going to be replaced by EA Sports FC. So in this video, I'll be discussing what impact that might have on the future of the game. So the first thing that might have changed is when the games come out. So usually the games come out in late September, which I've always found to be a bit late considering the season properly starts in early August. But recently EA Sports posted a video on their Twitter promoting the new game and saying join the club this July. And if you're playing a game in FIFA 23, you'll see that they put it on the advertisement boards in the background of games. Now it seems like they've started promoting their game very early this year and they're also planning to release it earlier than usual. Now it seems like another game developer is going to buy the FIFA licensing so that they can make their own football game to compete against EA Sports FC. So it seems like EA are releasing the game early this year so that they can get a head start on their competition. But apart from the new name, what else does the loss of the FIFA licensing mean for the future of the game? Well, it's important to note that EA will retain most of the licenses for the players, clubs and leagues, because these are owned by EA and not by the FIFA branding itself. All the major clubs, leagues and tournaments have said they'll be in the game on their social media, but the FIFA World Cup will likely never return to an EA Sports football game. This is because the tournament is owned and run by FIFA themselves, and so it requires the FIFA license. Now, it will be a shame to see the FIFA World Cup go, However, it won't affect the next few games anyway, as the next World Cup won't be until EA Sports FC 27. So what else will change? Now it seems that like the game will be quite different. So on their social media, there's a post which links to a website. On that website you can sign up with an email to join a club in July. Now EA have a reputation for making the same football game every year. Now I don't think this is entirely true. However, I can't really deny that certain parts of the game don't get enough attention, especially career mode, which is a shame considering it's my favourite game mode. Now hopefully this new EA Sports FC branding is a chance for them to overhaul career mode, which has really been in need of one for years. For now, we can only speculate about these changes. There was also an interesting tweet from Fabrizio Romano, suggesting that he might be in the game. Perhaps he could announce transfers in FIFA career mode. It's likely that EA will tell us more soon, but it's only just over two months until July, so it's not far off the game coming out anyway. Since it might have to compete against a game that has the FIFA licensing, it's important for the future of the game that EA Sports FC 24 is successful. Personally, I think that the rebrand to EA Sports FC provides a great opportunity for a much needed overhaul of the game. Hopefully they focus on improving career mode and other modes rather than just focusing on Ultimate Team. It seems like a lot of companies are partnering or sponsoring EA Sports FC. It seems like there's a lot of hype around the game and hopefully they deliver. The future seems bright for EA Sports FC. I'm excited about it. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about it too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.